hi welcome back to my channel so today I thought I'd do a bit of a monthly update for Oliver um, so he's 15 months now and I've done a post on my blog just about what he's been up to this month and how he's changed and all that I just thought I'd do a video to go on alongside it so sorry if I look at my phone but I'm just looking at the post to see what I've put um, so <laughs> Basically, this month he's changed quite a lot because he's started walking. Um, we thought he'd be a really early walker because he was crawling um, just after he turned six months. There we go, there's your soccer. Um, and we just thought he'd probably end up walking by a year. But actually, well, 14, just over 14 months when he started walking. Um, he started walking on uh, Easter Saturday, I think it was. Oh, you want your sock back? No? You want the other one off? Um, so Easter Saturday he started walking and um, yeah it's basically not stopped since um, he kind of literally just went straight into walking really f good distances um, he didn't, oh no you've dropped your socks um, he didn't really stumble too much he's quite good actually he's been very steady on his feet to start, you know, to start and um, but then that's the same with his crawling, he literally just got up on all fours and went. Um, so, yeah. So he's walking, he's trying to run now. Well, he's trying to run from the very start, but he's almost at the point where you're running, aren't you? Hey? Yeah. You're almost running? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. That's uh, pretty much what he's doing on the, on the walking front. He's just always on the move, aren't you, mister? So, um, with food wise, he's still got a really good appetite, haven't you? Who's this? Who's that? Okay. Um, he's got a really good appetite, he loves to eat pretty much anything. We've been really lucky that he's not been fussy at all. And actually, I think it does come down to baby leg weaning because he's had, he's had a mix of flavours from the very start. Um, he's, you know, we didn't start with the whole give them fruit, give them vegetables, give them, then give them meat and everything. He literally just straight away had all his meat, his veg, his, um, you know, the whole lot. So I think that's really helped with his eating. Um, he is a bit fussy with kind of lunchtime. He's not a big luncher. Um, he doesn't really eat sandwiches, well he doesn't eat sandwiches, he likes more snacky things kind of to pick at little bits and bobs, he really loves snack sausages um, and grapes, blueberries, cheese, um, sometimes I get him some pom bears or something, you can have a couple of them, so yeah that's it with that, then he still loves his yogurts and his fruit pouches for a pudding, um, um, yeah, he really likes really likes fruit pouches. He would have one after every meal if he could. He has um, porridge every morning. Uh, he has a bowl of that and he eats the whole lot every day. Um, we just make normal porridge with oats and milk. Um, I've never used baby porridge for anything. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure what the point is because actually they seem to be much more expensive than just a thing of oats and it takes just as long to cook it. Um, what else have we got? So speech wise, his speech is really coming along. He's trying to chat to you the whole time. Um, he just sits there babbling away to himself. He's started saying mama in the past week or so, which is brilliant because you know, I'm the one who does everything. Um, and he does say, try to say quite a lot of words. He says fun, so he's got his bunny. Um, he says mama, dada. Dat, car, um, what else do you say, darling? I think he's trying to say dog at the moment. Um, yeah? Um, he says t for Thomas, for Thomas the Tank Engine. And yeah, that's it with his speech. Um, so, personality wise, his personality is really um, coming out now. I think it started about kind of just before he turned a year he's starting to get this real strong personality and he's definitely got it now he's um really really cheeky he 
is very determined, um, he's quite strong minded, He'll, if he doesn't want to do something he will let you know he doesn't want to do it um, and yeah so he's, he's really loving, he's starting giving cuddles and kisses which is really lovely, he just comes up to you and he just goes um, and gives you a cuddle and he'll come up to your legs and ask to be picked up and things now which is really nice because he's, yeah, he's just getting that real interaction and um, yeah, that real loving nature which is lovely to see. Growth wise, he is still quite little. Um, he was always on the 50th centile from when he was born. Um, I'm saying yeah. he gets it from his dad's side because um, Stuart's family are all quite short. Um, so yeah, so de Ooh. definitely gets it from that side of his family because my side of the family at all. Um, but bless him, yeah. He's just all his clothes and stuff. We're in a real pickle because he basically he's now at the point where his nice twelve months trousers are too short for him, or getting too short. Um, but his twelve eighteen months trousers are too big around the middle because he's quite slight. Um, I was always quite a slight little girl um, when I was obviously younger, um, and I think Stuart was quite skinny as well so basically he's taken on our, our um, skinny middles I suppose it is. I didn't stay skinny around the middle all the time but you know when I was little I was and um, yeah so basically it's really struggle trying to find trousers to stay up um, and then obviously like long sleeve tops and stuff they're too long in the sleeve for him but it's not too bad. So teeth wise he's got about 8 teeth now, he's got some of his pre molars and I think maybe his molars coming through now, um, but yeah he really bites you um, if you try and stick your finger in his mouth, so, oh, did you bite mummy's finger, did you, um, so they've been really boring this month and we've had quite a few kind of broken night's sleep because he's um, assisting waking up in the middle of the night and just crying and crying and crying but um, yeah obviously it's to be expected it's pretty painful getting teeth Bless him. Um, and then sleep wise he's kind of regressed a bit I, don't know when there is, I think there is a sleep regression around this sort of age maybe but he's um, really just struggling to go to sleep um, his bedtime is getting later and later, he normally goes to bed about, well any time between, he's yeah. going to bed now, any time between half, well, seven and half eight, nine, um, we try to put him down about half seven, um, maybe eight, and then some nights he literally screams as soon as we put him down, he is just not a happy little being, um, and then we have to bring, we bring him back down, kind of cuddle him for about 10-15 minutes and then put him back to bed and he's fine but it's just it's just a real struggle and then nap time's the same we're really struggling with that um no darling studies um <coughs> yeah nap times are the same he well he's just i can't get him to go to sleep in his cot at all he just won't do it um Today I tried to put him down in his cot a few times throughout the kind of late morning after lunch and he's just not having any of it. We literally just popped to the village. We were in the car for a minute and he was fast asleep and he was fast asleep for a good half hour whilst I went round the shops, I got him out and everything and he didn't wake up. Um, and he's just, yeah, I don't, he just won't go to sleep in his cot. Which is a pain in the bum because... When I'm at home, I don't want to have to go out to get him to sleep. And I never have relied on him going to sleep in the car or anything. He's always gone to sleep in his car. Fine. But just recently, he just literally goes into a meltdown as soon as he um, as soon as soon he goes to sleep. So it's pretty... Well, we try, we try to put him to sleep. So it's a nightmare, isn't it? You just won't sleep, hey? Yeah. So that is Oliver's 15 month update. Um, he doesn't want to sit still. That is Oliver. So uh, 
I hope you've enjoyed watching and um, please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, bye!